Next up, let's start adding some really cool features to our app. Now I'm gonna be in the folder number 12, GIF search, and this is gonna be index.html. Well, that's index final. Let's go to index.html and we'll work in here. Very good. Okay, so we have this section that shows off the Giphy trending, right? So we are searching for the trending and then we show it here. So columns, and then we loop over that. Okay, so this, let's comment this out, trending. Now next, I wanna show off a section where we can actually search. There we go. And this is gonna be search, so we'll do an h2 dot, let's say this is, um. Title is the class I wanted, and this is trending, and we'll do the same for search. Okay, so let's search some GIFs now. We're gonna create an input box, and then every time a user types into that input box, we're gonna search the Giphy API. Now there's a couple different things we need to do here. First, we need the view, the template part of things. Second, we need our method, to actually go in and search the Giphy API by hitting the API endpoint. And then third, let's see, what's third? We need to actually create a data variable. So usually you can take your pick which one you like. I am gonna start in the template side of things. We're gonna say inputs, type is text, name is query, and vModel, so we can bind this to an actual variable, we'll call it query, and class, is input. Very nice. So we have this, and this is our search input bound to the data variable called query. But we need to create that, so we'll down here, query, we'll start at blank is the first. Cool. Let's see. Next, we are going to show, we're gonna loop over a bunch of GIFs here, so we'll copy this entire thing and we'll paste that up here. And instead of looping over GIFs, which is what this is looping over, we're gonna create a new one called searched GIFs. So searched GIFs. So we're gonna say only show this section if searched GIFs exist. And then down here, we'll need to change this. So we'll say trending GIFs. Now our application broke again. Trending GIFs and search GIFs don't actually exist just yet. So we'll go down here. This changes to trending GIFs. And then we'll also have searched GIFs. All right, let's see. Let's make sure that this trending section works again. And the reason it's not working is we're binding this.gifs. We want that to be this.trending GIFs. And now our application works back again. Next up, we have our template done. We have our data variables done. Let's do our method. So we're going to say search GIFs is a function. And let's build out this URL. Const URL is equal to backtick this.api URL forward slash. Let's go look at the Giphy API. Developers.giphy.com. And we'll click search. That takes us down to the endpoint, which is v1 slash gifs slash search. And then our required parameters, API key, of course. We need to verify that we are who we say we are and Q, which is going to be the search string, the query. Okay, so let's go over here. API URL slash search. Question mark, API key is equal to this.api key. And Q, which is the query, is equal to this.query. Since we already have it bound here to the data variables. Next, we can say fetch URL dot then response, and then we'll format that into JSON. So we get some nice readable things, dot then data, and I'm assuming it returns the exact same thing. So we'll say this dot search gifts is equal to data dot data. So it should return it in that same format, data dot data. Let's see if that works. Well, actually it won't work just yet because we never actually call search gifts. So where should we call search gifts? That should be on the inputs right here. We want to listen when that input actually changes. We'll say v on 
key up is equal to search gifs. And if you want the shorthand, at key up. Let's scooch on over. Let's find something like Pokemon. All right, and immediately everything gets updated as we type. Very cool stuff. Look at this entire lineup. We have search and trending. Let's limit each of those to like eight or something because this is getting to be pretty large application. So we'll hit that, hit that, and limit equals eight. All right, so eight there, Pokemon, and eight there. Very good. Very nice. Let's put a little margin on the bottom of that input box. Let's go over here, up to style. Input name is equal to query. Margin bottom. Let's do 15 pixels. 30 pixels. All right, so our actual username is still working here. And let's go over here. That is gonna be everything we need to search. I think that's a good place to stop this lesson right now. We have our input box for search. We are listening for the key up event. We bound it to the query data variable. And then we're looping over it using our new variable called search gifs. All right, so now we're starting to see our application get a little bit larger. And let's start looking at how we can organize this better when we move into the next lesson.